hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into the world of morningstar the powerful asset management software that's transforming how professionals handle investment research portfolio analysis and data-driven decisions so whether you're a financial analyst a portfolio manager or just someone curious about how the pros stay ahead of the investment game this video will walk you through the key features best new cases and a quick start guide to get you up and running in no time so let's begin by going to the official website which is gonna be morningstar.com now you would notice that you can up to use the platform free for seven days you have this section right here or click this button right here for example if you wanted to click this you will be forwarded to a new page all i have to do it's very easy all right i want you to click the start free trial what will happen is you just have to provide all the information needed all right click the create an account option and let me just tell you that Creating an account here in Morningstar is subject for approval. So it would take like a few business days before you get approved. If you don't have enough time to wait and or maybe you're not comfortable providing details or simply you don't want to provide any information at all. You just wanted to know more about Morningstar without doing all these. Don't worry, we got you. I want you to click the uh, homepage again because we could know a lot from the platform by just reading through all of these sections the portfolio tools sections markets funds edfs stocks bonds and investing ideas so let me go ahead to the portfolio now the morningstar portfolio x-ray is basically a tool that could give you a detailed analysis of your entire investment portfolio even if your holdings are spread across multiple accounts or funds so it's kind of useful because you have an option to look through view of your investments beyond just the names of the funds or ETFs. And of course, it helps to ensure your portfolio is well balanced and not overly concentrated. Now, the Morningstar stock intersection is a feature that shows you which individual stocks appear most frequently across the mutual funds or ETFs in your portfolio. Now, it will help you spot concentration risk. Like if several of your mutual funds all heavily invest in Microsoft or Apple, you may be more exposed to one company than you realize. Now, the last section about the portfolio is the trusted ratings and data because Morningstar's widely respected research and rating systems for investments like mutual funds, ETFs, and stocks, these ratings and data help investors compare investments objectively and make informed choices based on performance, quality, and cost. So we're going to go back again to the now going back to the home page you have the section for tools now the portfolio is basically this section so we're going to skip that instead we're going to click the watch list so this is where you can bookmark investments you are interested in but haven't bought yet because you can add stocks funds edf so track you can watch price movements morning star ratings Stay updated without committing. Of course, you can keep an eye on potential investments. Now, we're going to go to the next tool, which is the screener. Now, screener is a powerful search tool to filter investments based on criteria you choose. For example, if you find funds with low expense rate ratio or maybe look for five star rated EDFs. You can also search by sectors, returns, risks, and more. And of course, it's kind of useful discovering new investment opportunities that match your strategy. Now, the last tool that we're going to check is the rating changes. Okay, so Morningstar displays reset upgrades or downgrades to its analyst ratings like gold, silver, bronze, neutral, negative, based on new data, manager changes, strategy updates, and of course, of course market conditions now it's kind of useful for staying updated on morningstar's latest expert opinions and then now after that we're gonna skip the sections but instead we're gonna focus on the markets which is gonna be kind of like um very important part of morningstar now if you click the market home it's gonna be the main landing page for all market related data on morningstar so you have the performance view and the valuation view it's going to be a summary of global market per performance like this one. It gives you the major 
headlines and insights, a quick look at major index commodities and currencies, giving you market sentiment indicators. Now, think of it as your financial dashboard to start your day. Now, we're going to go back to the markets and we're going to go to the market movers. Now, what is it? Market movers is essentially gives you top gainers and top losers of the day for stocks, ETFs, and most active stocks by volume. It's useful for spotting big news or earning impacts, unusual trading activity, and of course, potential opportunities or red flags. Now, we're going to go to the indexes. It covers performance of major stock market like S&P 500, like this one, right? So these, NASDAQ, global or regional indexes, and a lot more. So it helps to gauge broad market performance, and it, it's tied up to the market fair value because Morningstar's unique feature shows whether the, whether the overall market is overvalued or undervalued based on aggregated fair value estimates of individual stocks covered by Morningstar analysts. It's useful for long-term in investors looking for valuation-based insights. And of course, there's going to be the calendar. Now, the calendar is kind of a financial event with earning reports. For example, it's um, April 11th. You have all of these. You have economic data releases like inflation if you have that. Economic releases, IPOs, stock splits, and which is great for planning trades or understanding why a stock or market might move. And then there's going to be the commodities. It shows foreign exchange rates such as USD and a lot more, including percentage change over time and insights into currency trends, helpful for international investors or for those watching FX risk. All right. And then there's going to be last is the currencies. So these are some of the currencies that you can find here in Morningstar. Now, I'm going to skip all of them because it requires deep learning curve for Morningstar, but I want you to take a look on the investing ideas. So these are some of the investing ideas that you might want to take into, take your time, give it a try, because this will give you more insights about Morningstar. For example, if you go to the investing ideas about best investment, you can jumpstart your research with free filtered screens based on the independent analysis available only with a subscription to Morningstar. All right. For example, Christine Benz portfolios. If you click on it, you will be forwarded here. Series of portfolio from Morningstar's director of finance. And of course, there's a lot. You can take a look at it. Asset managed companies and best 529 savings plans. Again, do not be afraid to click the get seven days for free. Provide all the information needed so that Morningstar can offer a tailored fit solution to whatever your business needs and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one